Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode in our series. Together we learn how to be better pet owners and how to make our pets happier. Join us. Today we will talk about Puppuccino. It's not news in the world, but it is for some of us. If you, like us, have just discovered Puppuccino, you're probably wondering what it is and if it's safe for my pet. In addition to the fact that his name sounds classy, he is basically simply an espresso cup filled with whipped cream. Before you get scared and startled, you should know that it is whipped cream is generally safe for dogs to eat. Dog parents everywhere love grabbing them to give their dogs a little treat. This trend was started by a well-known coffee seller, which name we will not mention, you can probably guess who it is. It is usually free, and it brings a lot of happiness and satisfaction to your pets. Even many cats will love it, because it is basically a dairy product. Because it is a dairy product, some pets may have stomach issues. Especially if our pet is allergic to lactose. But if he doesn't have any major problems with dairy products, you can give him this treat often. And if he is, we have a few recipes and solutions for you, you can also make it at home, using other ingredients. If you make it from whipped cream, please note that it must be without sugar of course. If you want to make fancy puppuccino for your pet, it can be made from plain yogurt and pumpkin puree, with the addition of peanut butter, decorated with a little cinnamon. Now we went to a culinary extravaganza. Try blending together blueberries, strawberries or bananas with Greek yogurt for a berry flavored treat. You can play with these ingredients and make various combinations, which your pet likes the most. Variants with eggs and foam are best avoided, because it is not good for our pets to eat fresh eggs, due to the various bacteria that can be found in them. If you enjoy small and beautiful things in life, subscribe to our channel, if you haven't already, and get your daily dose of small and nice things. Now that you are a little more familiar with this treat, you can enjoy your afternoon coffee and rest together with your pet. Or if you are on the road, you can rest and relax together. This can also be a good idea for a fun and tasty gift for your pet, on special occasions, such as your or his birthday. Does your pet like this treat, and how do you usually prepare it for him? Write to us and share your delicious recipes with us in the comments. Enjoy the small and beautiful things in life and share that happiness with your pet, in a healthy and safe way, that would be our advice of the day. That would be all for today's lesson, join us in the next episode, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Also ring that bell, so you don't miss the next class. Stay safe and happy. And don't forget, love and respect all your pets, and enjoy the time you are given to spend together.